said that if President Zelensky did not clear things up in public, we would be at a stalemate. He, he, he began that, again, by repeating, this is not a quid pro quo, but if, the pres if President Zelensky did not clear things up in public, we would be at a stalemate. And what I understood of, of for, in, in that meeting, uh, the meaning of stalemate was the security assistance would not come. So even though he said the words there were no quid pro quo, he then went on to say, but the security assistance will not come unless these investigations are done. Is that your, what you're saying? My understanding, that's what was meant by stalemate. You also described in your opening statement a, a discussion you had about um, President Trump being a businessman who wanted to uh, have people pay up before signing the check. And what, is, what did you understand that to mean? This was an explanation <clears throat> that, that uh, Ambassador Solomon gave me about his understanding of President Trump's thought process. Um, Ambassador Solomon is a businessman. President Trump's a businessman. He was explaining to me um, the the relationship, the, the understanding that uh, that uh, a businessman would have when he is about to sign a check. And by that, he clearly meant that President Trump was thinking about or had in front of him the, the possibility of providing security assistance to Ukraine. It was similar to writing a check to a, 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 someone who you're about to send. He used he used that analogy very clearly uh, to indicate um, that this would be this would would require something. If that person owed him something before he signed the check, he wanted to get that get whatever he was owed paid back to him. And Ambassador Volker used very similar language about a week later, which indicates to me that they had that conversation as well. Did Ukraine owe anything to the United States? Ms. Golden, they didn't. Um, they owed appreciation uh, for the support um, and they they uh, were getting support and they appreciated that, but there was not an, there was not there was nothing owed uh, to President Trump on that. But you understood the upshot of this comment given made by both Ambassador Sondland and Ambassador Volker to be that President Trump believed that Ukraine owed him something personally. Is that accurate? It's hard to understand, but uh, there was. A feeling um, on, by President Trump um, that he, and this came out in the in the transcript. Uh, I, I'm sorry, this came out in the discussion uh, with the inaugural delegation when they came back to have a conversation with President Trump on May 23rd. That he had a, he had a feeling of having been wronged uh, by the Ukrainians. Um, and so this was something that he thought they owed him to re re uh, fix that wrong. Right, but what he, what he was talking about, as you understood it, because in the context of the conversation, is that what he owed him were these investigations that he wanted. That, that would have been to fix the wrong, exactly. And those investigations into the 2016 election and Biden and Barista. That's correct. Now, during this early period in September, you, we've talked a little bit about the fact that you continually heard that the president uh, was repeatedly saying that there was no quid pro quo. Is that right? That's correct. And he, he still says that repeatedly today. But regardless of what you call it, whether it's a quid pro quo, bribery, extortion, abuse of power uh, of the office of the presidency, the fact of the matter, as you understood it, is that security assistance and the White House meeting were not going to be provided unless Ukraine initiated these two investigations that would benefit Donald Trump's re-election. Is that what you understood the facts to be? Mr. Goldman, what, what I can do um, here for you today is tell you what I heard from people. And in this case, it was what I heard from Ambassador Solomon. Um, he described conditions for the security assistance and the White House meeting in, in those terms. That is